that. Well, that's that doesn't make them very happy. Oh yeah, they are not happy. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> oh, they're still swarming me. Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence, and uh, we have an attack again. These guys are just non-stop. Where are they at? Uh, over here, I think. Man, they just won't let up. I haven't attacked any of them in a very long time, other than just killing them when they come by here, so I don't know. Does that... Do they take revenge when I kill them when they attack me? When they instigate it? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, they just... Non-stop. I had a... Uh, well, we had a... I had a rogue camp right up over the hill, so... And there was four of them, I think, so I had to take them dudes out. Uh, okay, I think we're good. All right, so, um... <clears throat> excuse me, I wasn't going to bring you guys back quite yet... Um, I gotta fix that. But, uh, I was out cutting some wood just around the base last night after I killed those rogues. And there's a bee's nest. And I've been waiting for a bee's nest to show up. So, apparently what we have to do is provide timber protection from biting, stinging insects. So I guess <clears throat> what we do is we take this and then we can harvest the honey and they won't take us out. Uh, so let's put a couple of these things away and we will do that. And I don't know if I'm supposed to use, like, the axe, the pick, or if I just um, use my hands on that. Oh, the other thing I, I want to try is I made uh, an incendiary round, and I want to sh shoot something with that and see, we see how effective it actually is. Another kind of piece of bad news that I discovered after last uh, the last episode was that uh, with my crop plots inside of the greenhouse, they're actually only getting 70% light. Uh, so, yeah, that's a thing. We might have to rethink the whole greenhouse thing because um, that's not going to work, of course. You would think, you know, that it would just get the same amount of light or even better light because, you know, of the greenhouse effect, but apparently the game doesn't work that way, so... I'll have to figure out what we're going to do with that. Uh, but anyway, let's go get these bees. They're right there on that tree. And like I said, I've never done this before, so um, let's go ahead and use this. And then do we just hit it with that? Well, that's, that doesn't make them very happy. How long does this bee repellent stuff last? Oh yeah, we're getting honey. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, they are not happy. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> oh, they're still swarming me. Um, are they going to leave me alone? Okay, yeah, they're leaving me alone now. Okay, so the little bee... Uh, insect repellent thing is showing up in the right hand side. <clears throat> I'm just kind of curious to see how long it's actually going to last for future reference. Uh, but those beehives are rare. I mean, I don't, I've only seen a very, very small amount of them for this whole playthrough. So what I think I'm going to do, I mean, whenever I see one moving forward, I'm definitely going to harvest it. Um, because we need honey for some of our dishes, including the honey glazed ham, which we're going to actually go make now. Uh, that thing is still on, so it actually la lasts plenty plenty long to harvest one beehive anyways. Okay. Does it tell us anything like the profile stats? I haven't even looked at these in a long time. We've killed 250 hunters. 620 large game kills. That They must be including wolves in that. I'm sure. Okay, so, awesome, we've been waiting for this honey. So here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to make the honey glazed pork and vegetables, except for, doggone it, we're short one potato. I got the pork chops in here, I've been sitting on them. All right, well, I don't know if this spoils, so we're just going to keep it in the fridge, and we're going to have to wait until our potato harvest. 
Ah, oh, that sucks. I was hoping to, to be able to do that in this episode, but apparently the uh, game has other ideas for us. So, all right, is what it is. Let's put this stuff away. Excuse me. And then um, on to the next thing. I want to try, like I said, one of these incendiary rounds and just see, you know, are, are they just for show? Like you catch something on fire, but it doesn't really do that much damage or does it do like some mega, major damage to an enemy? So that's what we're going to be looking at next. I also want to make, um, we're going to tear all of this crap out of here and I'm just going to make two more hatches and then we can just scooch up the hatches here to get to the other one. Um, so for that, we're going to need, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> we're going to need three ingots because I have one already in here. Okay, so let's grab, oh man, I don't know, I don't think we can make three ingots at the moment. We have 28. How much does it take to make an ingot? It takes 10. We, um, well, we'll be able to in a couple of seconds. <laughs> we just have to wait for a couple more of those to uh, to do their thing. Okay, well, let's um, let's come back to the whole ingot thing then. Um, so let's go out and test this incendiary round on a bear or a wolf or a hunter if we can find one and also <coughs> excuse me there was something else oh actually yeah let's go up and look at the crops for a second um yeah they only, they only get 70 percent light which really sucks so see oh well only 38 percent now 49 percent it's probably just because it's cloudy out. But when the sun's out, yeah, it's only 70%. Oh, man, that's that really sucks because this greenhouse was very expensive to make. <sighs> I don't know what else to do, though. I mean, I guess we could put two crop plots here. I don't know if, you know, the, I think they these are affected by the light, though. There's a crate over there that we could go grab. What would happen if we removed this part just temporarily as an experiment? Um, all right, well, does that itself make a difference? 38% light? No, it doesn't seem to. Well, no, it's 49% light. What if we remove this? Oh, man, I almost hit the delete key. Don't do that. Don't be doing that. Here, let's just put that there for the moment. Still, still only says 38% light. That one's 59%. Why, why would there be any difference between those two? I don't know. Tell you what, though. <clears throat> I'm going to leave. Okay, the sun's right there, and it's starting to kind of pop out from the clouds. That's 59 and this is still 38%. Let's wait just a moment for the, the clouds to completely get out of the way of the sun. I mean, they kind of already are. 38%, 59%. I don't get that. I really don't get that. <clears throat> hmm. Do you, do you suppose it's the rail? Now it's at 49%. Is this different? No. Okay, let's move this rail. Sixty-three percent and eighty-nine <coughs> percent. Okay, the sun's gonna go back behind a cloud again. So that's up to eighty-nine, whereas before it was only seventy percent. That one's seventy-six. That one's sixty-three. 
Is the light more based upon, you know, noon? It's best at noon versus if it's if there's actually clouds covering the sun or See, now that's at 89 and that's at 63. It's really weird too that this one has different light than the other one. They're right next to each other. Hmm. 76. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's leave it this way for a little while. It will come back and check it again in a little while and see if we notice any difference at all. In the meantime, um, I need to put this somewhere. <laughs> Can we... Damn. I need to get out of here. There we go. Okay. So we'll just leave the rest of that the way it is for now. We'll come back and look at that in just a little bit. Hopefully I'll remember to, to do that. Okay, anyway, back down to here. Let's check this. Uh, you could use a little fuel. And we are ready, actually, we should be ready now with the uh, with the, the shard thingamadoodles. Okay, so we need to make three ingots. One, two, three. This stuff back in here and then what else do we need for those hatches eight adhesive 12 planks I did start to go cut wood but then I got attacked and <clears throat> um, interrupted and all that good stuff so let's make that many and we said we needed eight adhesive right Okay, so that should give us, once the planks are made, that should give us enough to make two more hatches. So now what we have to do is figure out what we're going to do with all this crap that's in the way. Uh, let's grab this stairwell here. And I've got one kind of sitting over here just out of the way for now. Yeah, we'll just do that. We won't be able to go through there, but I don't really need to go through there anyways. I never, never do. Um, I'm, I'll just leave this stuff here for the moment because it's not actually going to be in the way. Okay, so we're waiting on that. Now, let's go... Uh, yeah, the sun's not quite at its zenith, so... I need uh, a new chicken. So let's see if we can find a chicken and let's see if we can find like a bear or a wolf that we can shoot the incendiary round at and just see what it does. And of course... We'll grab some crates too. Okay, so let's load this in. So he's at 180 hit points. Let's wait for him to stop. Okay. So he's he's burning. It's making a little burn sound on him. Okay, it stopped. So whatever the dot it was doing is finished. What, do we got a freaking wolf on us now? Get out of here, wolf. I don't want to... I want to see how much health the bear has left before we take him out. He's kind of pissed at me, though. Of course, I don't blame him. I'd be pissed at me, too. All right, so between the shot and the fire damage it took him down uh over halfway so that's not too bad i guess we have to see you know what it would do on a human i'd just be curious if i could shoot an armored hunter one time and then have the fire kill him after that it would be very worth it uh you know to have those i think all right, let's switch back to these rounds here. Because it's not... I think it takes like two phosphorus and maybe one more gunpowder than the normal one, so it's not hugely expensive to make other than, you know, the phosphorus itself, but... All right, let's go uh, grab that wolf that we killed. And it's probably really pretty close to noon, so we'll head back to the garden and see what's going on. <clears throat> uh, what am I doing? Did I, did I not just see another fiber plant? Maybe not. I don't know. There's one right there. Oh, 
Okay. Also, can we start making these? Oh, I didn't grab the the ingots. So. <coughs> My poor wife. I don't, you guys probably can't hear this on the mic because of my uh, noise gate, but she's in the other room coughing. I'm in this room coughing. Damn COVID, man. I mean, technically we're over it, but the cough just hasn't really gone away, you know? Such a pain in the ass. All right, let's wash up. We'll split this in half. And get that going, and uh, let's cook the livers. Grab the ingots. And now we should, oh, we need uh, metal scraps. There, now we should be able to make two of these. Perfect. Okay. Now let's go see what the light is on the crops. Oh, I guess we can't get, <laughs> we can't get up there until we make the the hatches. Fair enough. Fair enough. There's the first one. All right. Can we like jump up to that? Not quite. This is almost done. <coughs> okay. And we want to put this right here. We have to pull it back. All right, now we should be able to just climb straight up here. Oh man, that is so much nicer than what we were dealing with before. Okay, so this has 70% light. That's got 100% light. Why is this one got less light? That doesn't make any sense. See, that's at 70% and that one's at actually 85%. Hmm. All right, so this, is, this one here is at 100%. Let's put the stuff back and see if it goes down at all. Maybe this stuff doesn't have anything to do with the price of eggs in China, you know what I mean? Um, might, that might not have anything to do with it after all, which is would be ideal because I went to all this trouble and expense to make this stuff and it's very cool looking and I don't wanna have to not use it, you know what I mean? All right, so just by putting that in place, did that make a difference at all? Yeah, see, now it's only at 85%. So this does appear to block the light somewhat. Well, I guess I guess the solution then is A, we, we don't use this, we change it up, we move the crop somewhere else, which I don't wanna do, or B, we just put lights on here and use more electricity and just keep the lights on all the time. Okay, so that's still at 85%. Um, oh, the top piece. Let's put the top piece back in. Pull it back. All right. Any difference now? Nope, it's still 85%. So, does that mean it's the rail that's causing it only? Let's see. you go right here all right so the rail's gone and oh it's a hundred percent now so it's the rail that's blocking it wow who'd have thunk okay well you know what we don't need the rails there because we got the glass uh did it change anything over here well that's still only at 70 percent that one's at 85. So, hmm, yeah, I don't know, man. 
I don't know what to think about this. It seems, the, and the other thing that makes no sense is why this one's not all the way up too, but we don't, we definitely don't have to have those rails there. Um, so what we could do with those, oh, we could actually put those down below. Yeah, that's what we'll do with those. We can put them down below. Um, or for, for the time being, let's actually put them here. So I don't accidentally go bar barreling off the side of that. Maybe we'll just leave them there the whole time. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, we can't we can't get through there, so we don't have to worry about falling down that way. All right. Well, let's check on one more time. See, it's still at a hundred percent. That one's at seventy. That one's at 70. That one's at 85. Yeah, I don't know. I don't understand why there's variance in those, but there is. All right. Now, for this little business here, can we... Can we make half rails? Yes, we can. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. Um, actually, here, let's pull this rail up and see if it makes a difference on that other crop plot as well. Uh, for the moment, I'm just going to put it here, even though I don't really need to. And now, is there a difference? Yeah, see, it's at 100% now. Very interesting. Okay, so the rail does seem to matter. So we'll make a couple of shorties uh, for in there. What do I need for that? Uh, just nails, boards, and scrap. Okay, that's easy enough. All right, now I want to make sh how do I get, oh, okay. So I actually press the back key to go down the ladder as opposed to just falling through. We'll put that burnt liver, uh, burnt livers in the uh, mass thingamadoodle. Okay, let's see, what are we doing? We need to, we need to get some water and fertilizer on the crops. So let's grab some of that. And where are we at on power? Okay. This ran out of fuel. Let's grab whatever furts in the chicken pins. Oh, nice. We got four eggs. Beautiful. We got a bunch of eggs now. Um, 37 to be precise. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, so we'll grab that furt. We'll grab a little bit of this, too. And let's go up... Oh, this is beautiful, you guys. So much nicer getting up here now. I, I'm really glad that the um, that it seems to be more the rails than the glass, because I just did not uh, like the idea of having to redo that, you know? Okay. So I need a, one more water and one more little fertilizer for that one to get it all the way up. That's still 70%. That's still 100%. And that's still 100%. And see, the sun's all the way behind the cliff now, so it doesn't... It seems to me like the game maybe doesn't take direct sunlight into account after all. Maybe it is more of a time of day thing. I'm not sure. Okay, so we got to get here... And then he kind of does a, like a little pause. Yeah, like that. It, it sort of kind of like snaps him or pulls him into place, and that's when you know you can go down. <coughs> okay. We wanted one more water and one more thing of furt for that last crop. Let's grab this and this and this and this. We do have all of our free mass, don't we? Yeah, okay. And we'll throw that stuff into here. Now, this stuff I'm going to do something with um, at some point. I don't want it to stay there. And then, you know, we're going to we're gonna finish the floor out in here and put 
either some rails or maybe even just some half walls just to make, you know, use something a little different uh, to get that built out. All right, nice. So we're still in 100% light there. It's a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing. I am going to still upgrade these crop plots, you know, put the lights on that sort of thing <clears throat> at some point. So we're going to need one more regular ceiling and a couple of curved ceilings, and then we're going to need three half walls to do all that. We can also just jump down there if we want to. Um, I want to... I do want to get this stuff out of here. I know I don't need to, but I want to. I don't like it here. Especially because that's sticking out. So this is going to kind of be just our overflow <laughs> our overflow area for pieces that we don't uh, don't need at the moment kind of thing. So um, This we could just stick there and just leave it there for now. It's not really hurting anything in that spot. Alright, we are going to need some more planks, so let's put all of this in here. And let's grab the iron out of here. Keep that going. And uh, let's make get some more planks going. I, I got, as soon as I'm done with this episode with you guys, I am going out and chopping wood like there's no tomorrow. Like there's no friggin' tomorrow, man. Yeah, we can't make the honey glaze stuff until um, until we get some potatoes. So we'll have to wait on that. Let's uh, use some fuel bricks on these fires. Keep them going so we can keep that ash coming. Mo mo that's the main reason, of course. We need to make another uh, bee or insect repellent thing for the next time we find a beehive. Okay, so let's see. We need... To make some stuff now I don't I have I have walls and foundations but I don't have flooring and that's what we need is flooring so let's grab some nails and some cordage and I think we said we needed one more floor and then two corner pieces and so we, we can get those going and then I'll requeue up uh, these planks after that because we're gonna need we're gonna make half walls and we just need three so we need a total of nine more planks for those oh my god <laughs> we have four pieces of wood you guys that's terrible all right we might as well just feed those in there and that's that's it for the wood man so yeah definitely going wood cutting when this is all said and done. Okay, let's go back up here. And we're going to grab this piece and flip it this way. Pop you in there. And we get the two corner pieces in. Uh, this is good too because now I can actually reach this piece here to repair it. It doesn't look damaged. So that means that, that it, if, if it is damaged, it's not severely damaged. Um, okay, so pop you in here. Nice, 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 nice. I'm liking it, man. I'm liking it. And then this piece can go in here. Whip. Flip it this way. Um, yeah, that way. Okay, and then we just put the half walls along here. Um... You know what we could now that's gonna be hard I was thinking I could take the half walls from down there and bring them up here but I don't think I can get them over here it's too far away all right and then I'll probably also put maybe uh, a half wall there we don't really need this full wall here let's get let's take that down so I'll probably just put like half walls on this little platform up here suit too so you know we don't fall down and hurt ourselves. And in the meantime, let's just pop you in there and we can use you later on if we decide that we need to do so. All right. 
Well, let's see here. Yeah, we're about out of time. Oh, frick. All right, let's go deal with these yahoos. Leave me alone, you assholes. I am going to come down like a ton of bricks on your ass. All of you. He moved right when I pulled the trigger, of course. too dark for me to see what the hell's going on. Where are you? Okay. Guess that's it. Got a couple shotgun shells back out of the deal. Oh, lots of shotgun shells there. Okay, that was, that was, uh, at least we got, you know, paid back in that stuff, but we lost some rifle rounds and took a little damage on the base now. All right. Okay, let's make these two final pieces, and then I need to let you guys go. And then I'm going to go cut wood. And after I'm finished doing that, I'm going to go cut some more wood. And when I'm done with that... I'm going to go cut some wood. Yes, indeed. Um, here, let me grab one of these. And let's turn it to green. So we can see what the heck's going on here. Oh, no, we're not going up there. Nope, down, 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 down. Okay. So we want to put you there. There. Like that. Oh, you know what? I guess we do need three. That what I, I think that's what I actually said. I was thinking two, but we need three. So, yeah, this kind of gives us a little lower balcony, I guess, that you if you will. Um, we can't really do a whole lot from here, but it adds a little more flavor to the base, I guess, if nothing else, right? Um, and it would give us room to expand. Um, I mean, what would I put up here, though? I don't know what I would it would put up here. We could put, I guess we could put, like, the storage. Uh, yeah, we got some rugs up there. Uh, we could put the storage up there, but the storage is kind of already tucked nice and neat away where it is. So, I don't know. I'll have to think about that. Anyway, I'm going to... <clears throat> I'm going to make t probably two more half walls, one for each side here. But this is pretty handy just to jump, you know, jump off right there. So I might keep that open. It's just a little faster to get down that way. And then we'll just leave all that crap there. That's just the overflow stuff. Um, all right, guys. Well, uh, that is it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share with the video. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.